All right, the next drill that we're going to shoot here, we call this El Presidente. This drill has been shot with a pistol for years and years. We're going to do the same thing with the rifle. Uh, the reason we do that is to get used to some of the manip manipulations of the rifle, loading the rifle once you've shot it dry, and also doing the turns, 180 to the rear. So the fellow that's going to be shooting this is going to start actually facing, facing to the rear. Go ahead and do that, Dan. And it's your choice if you want to turn to the right or the left. The important things, and I'm going to walk Dan through this real slow so you see exactly what he's doing. The first thing, first thing that's going to happen when he hears the buzzer, first I want him set up so that he can actually shoot in this direction if he has to. When he hears the buzzer, the first thing he's going to do is he's going to lead with his head. He's going to lead with his eyes, turn, look at the targets. He's going to take an aggressive step forward and come up into his shoot position and then drive the weapon up on the target. He's going to go two rounds on each target, two, two, and two. At that point, the weapon's going to shoot dry. You can go ahead and relax. The weapon's going to shoot dry. He's going to do a speed reload with his, with his rifle and then two, two, two again. So it's going to be two, 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 reload, two, two, two. Some folks say, well, if I was at that distance, I would just transition to my pistol. He doesn't have a pistol. Just like most of our soldiers and uh, Marines and folks out there, they're not going to be carrying a sidearm, so they've got to have this in the back of their head if they do have to do a speed reload. A couple other things when we do the speed reload. One thing that I try to do as I'm shooting the weapon, I'm always paying attention to how the recoil feels with my weapon. And if you haven't shot enough to feel what the recoil feels like when you shoot your weapon dry, you need to stay in the range so that you know that uh, what that feeling is. So as soon as he shoots the weapon dry, you'll see the, the bolt lock to the rear. He doesn't have to look at anything. Of course, it's going to be night when most of this is taking place. He's immediately going to go for his next magazine, seat the magazine in the weapon, pull down to make sure it's seated, and he's going to hit the, the uh, bolt catch with his thumb and that's going to allow, the, uh, allow him to shoot the last six rounds. Okay, the way we're going to store, score this particular event, uh, we're shooting IPSC targets today. You can shoot IDPA targets, you can shoot your SEB targets, or whatever type of target you might have. We have an A ring, a C ring, and a D ring. The way that I score this, if he has A's, we don't add any time. If he has a C, for every C that he has, we add a half a second. For every D that he has, we add a second and a half. If he has any misses, we're going to add 20 seconds. Okay, we want misses to be devastating on these drills. The other thing I want you to think about is how far you put the targets apart. It doesn't really matter as long as you have them spread out somewhat. The, be the more you can spread them out, the better. And the reason we do that is so you can practice driving the weapon from target to target as well. So we engage this target as soon as we finish engaging it. Our eyes lead to the next target. We snap our weapon over two rounds there. Snap our weapon over the next target two rounds there. The bolt's going to lock to the rear, and then we'll uh, we'll do our reload, and then two, two, two again. Left, right, it doesn't matter. You can always change that up. If you're training your folks, you may want to say left to right, and then right to left. That's up to you. The more you spread them, the better. If your target stands won't allow you to move them, you may be stuck with that anyway. So just shoot them where they're at. All right, this is the El Presidente with the rifle. Okay, Dan's going to start facing. Uh, facing up rage. When he gets a signal, he's going to aggressively turn his body, making sure he leads with his eyes. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Bolt's going to lock to the rear. He's going to do a reload. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Shooter ready? Ready. Shooter is ready. Stand by. Time 7.73. 7.73. Okay, let's take a look down here at the target. 773, but he's got, a, he's got a, uh, a C on this target. He's good on the rest of the targets. He has one C, so we're going to add 0. 0.5 seconds. So 823 is his final time. 823. Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Seven point zero four. Let's take a look at the targets real quick. We've got one C, one C. So half a second added to that. Seven point five four. That's a great run.